Hey guys, uh, it's been a little while since I made a CD review and uh, I figured I'd make another one just for the hell of it. Um, I've been thinking about the, uh, the Boxcar Racer album a little bit recently and um, I don't remember where I saw it. I think it might have been on Reddit or something and there was someone that said that they had just discovered Boxcar Racer and I, it just made me think about how that album would really come off to someone or like come off uh, for someone like today after everything that Blink is now and Angels and Airwaves and everything like that and I mean I really do see the album as more or less perfect to me I mean I don't know if if maybe I heard it for the first time today if I would think the same thing I don't know I mean certainly compared to what's out there for for new music I'd probably still consider you know the same sort of thing um, I always really like the guitar driven stuff even if it's not really fancy guitar um, I mean as much as I like like the new Angels and Airways with like a lot of synth and um, the new Blink that doesn't necessarily have a lot of um, you know guitar riffs and stuff it's mostly just um, a lot of chords and stuff like that but anyway um, I mean, I feel like most of the songs are really solid, and I don't feel like there's really any song that is bad on the album. I mean, there's some that are definitely different, but I mean, it definitely caters to a different type of fan, and it just caters to like a different side of Tom when he's writing like my first punk song. I mean it's not really my favorite song and it's not really my favorite type of song either but you know he obviously grew up listening to a lot of different type of bands like that um, that were really aggressive really fast and not necessarily like melodic or anything like that um, so while it's not my favorite song you know I could definitely see why it is on that album um, so um, let me start with first song I feel so um, that was the first song that I heard from the album and I still remember the day that I saw it because it was right before I was going to school and I heard Tom singing and I mean this was before I was really like using the internet a lot because I was it was 2002 so I was 11 at the time and this was pretty much just right when I was getting into Blink too um, so I was really confused. I didn't know he had a new project or anything like that. And I'm looking around. I'm like, where the hell's Mark? You know? And um, I I don't even remember if I ended up, like, missing the bus or whatever ended up happening. But I, I stayed for that whole music video. And I thought it sounded really cool. Um, but I definitely was curious to hear more. And when I saw that it said Boxcar Racer, I'm like, what the hell is Boxcar Racer? Because, you know, sometimes... Um, TV, like MTV or VH1 or whatever, I think it was on Fuse or Much Music or something at the time, but you know, sometimes those uh, channels will screw up the, um, like the title of the song or title of the band, you know, it does happen sometimes. Um, so I was really confused and... I, don't know, I feel so it was definitely a really good choice for a first single because it was just so aggressive um, it was really you know really powerful and the video was really cool um, it was just really dark you know it was uh, definitely different from take off your pants and jacket which was still on very high rotation at the time because it was only early 2002 um, <clears throat> some of you may or may not know um, I'm assuming most of you do know that there is a long version of I feel so I mean there's definitely different edits out there um, my favorite one is like the longest version you can get where it starts with the piano intro and then it does the like the guitar intro type thing um, it's got longer verses it's got a longer bridge um, so if you don't know about that definitely check that out it's really cool um, yeah, overall, that song is just really, really great. I really like that one. Uh, All Systems Go is another good one. Um, I wouldn't call it my f like one of my favorites on the album. I'd say it's probably one of my least favorites, but you know, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Um, I really like the chorus in that one. I definitely think it's just it just sounds really different. It sounds really cool, and um, it's just it's just one of those. 
one of those songs that like I, I always seem to forget about, but when I listen to it, I'm like, this is fucking awesome, you know. Um, so yeah, and I don't have too much to say about that song just because yeah, it's not. I don't know. It's 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 one of those songs that I just feel like there's just something about it that definitely sets it apart, but it's not something I can really pinpoint, you know. Um, it's it's simple, but it's not like as simple as say like Cat Like Thief or Elevator. But you know, it's definitely got its moments in it that I really like, like the chorus. Um, I like the lyrics a lot in that song. That's that's one thing I definitely like. Watch the World is definitely one of my favorites on the album. Always one of my favorite ones to play um, on guitar, just screwing around. Um, you know, I like Tom's really simplistic guitar in the whole song, but at the same time, there's um, there's two different guitar parts, at least, throughout the whole song that are both really different. Like, there's the very, uh, <clears throat> the very definite like rhythm part but then there's like the little melodies that are going um at the same time that are really cool uh, i love the lyrics you know lyrics are definitely great um that's about it for that one i guess tiny voices the song as a whole i don't think you know stands out too much um it's definitely one of the angrier songs for sure um i like the idea of the song just like tiny voices in your head like you know just messing with you all day and whatever but i love absolutely love the bridge of it the guitar is just such a simple simple riff but it's just it just sounds perfect the, and you know for the whole the, f the whole album for that matter i mean i don't remember if tom did all the producing and everything himself he probably got um What's his name? Jerry Finn. I'm pretty sure he got Jerry, but I don't remember to help him out. But, you know, the whole guitar sound on the whole album is amazing. And just the atmosphere, as simple as it is, you know, it just works. And that that one little section with the bridge with just, like, the really cool guitar, um, as you can kind of hear uh, them, like, like, it's right before and right after you hear, like, all the jumbled voices that you can't really make out what they're saying, just the simple guitar. That might be like my favorite thing on the whole album. It's that good. <clears throat> Cat Like Thief is another cool song because it's got to be the only thing that I can stand Tim Armstrong on. I don't like Tim Armstrong at all. I, I don't like Rancid or any of his other stuff, Transplants, and never got into it. But that song is just so simple and so unique and tom and tim's voices really match or they just go together really well <clears throat> and um <clears throat> uh, the lyrics are really cool the guitars are super simple the the drums throughout the whole song are really great super simple drums just a really catchy beat that i like a lot um but yeah, that used to be a song that I just never really got into that much. And that has got to be, like, my most played song now. Let me... Yeah. <laughs> On my iTunes. I'm looking at my iTunes list right now, and it is my most played Boxcar Racer song, which is something I never would have thought 10 years ago. So... <clears throat> it's a very cool song. And I like that Jordan from Newfound Glory is, in, uh, is singing in it, too. Some of you might not know that, either. Um... It's it's very hard to notice, but I'm pretty sure he's just in like the end section where it's just like uh, big like harmonized vocals. Um, I forget the lyric right off the top of my head, but you know if you really listen for him, you could definitely hear um, hear Jordan a little bit. You know he's his voice is a little similar to Tom's, so it it mixes uh, pretty well. So you can't really tell unless you really know that he's already there. Um, but that's that's something really cool. Um, and I is definitely a, another favorite of mine. Um, it reminds me a lot of Not Now, like for at least um, just the guitar sections. But I love the bass on the song, you know, really simple bass. Um, the drums are awesome. I love, you know, the drum beat again. And I really like just certain 
parts in it where there's the guitars, like the two guitar tracks just play off each other that are really cool. <clears throat> that one's really nice. I, I mean, And I is always one of those ones where it always kind of bugged me because whenever I would see like covers or anything online, like everyone, almost everybody plays it wrong because everybody hears it differently. Um, mostly the intro and I was even the same way for a while. Like I felt like I was hearing it one way and then, you know, I tried learning the song years later and I'm like, wow, I, I you know, I'm completely hearing it different. You know, it's, it's just one of those weird songs like that. Um, but you know, it's great. I, I like the lyrics a lot. I like, you know, the whole theme of the song. It's a really good one. Letters to God is another really good song. I love that it mixes the acoustic section with the heavy section. I'd probably, if I had to do anything with the whole song, I would make the heavy section not as loud because it is a big jump. So like anytime I'm in the car and I'm just jamming to like the acoustic part, I always have to turn it down just like a little bit just because it's gonna freaking make me deaf. Um, but it's another one that's just, the lyrics are awesome. You know, he did a really good job with the lyrics. The lyrics on the whole album are great. And that's something that, you know, Tom's been scrutinized for before. Just his lyrics aren't always, you know, that great. But I feel like the lyrics on this album are always really cool and really solid. Um, my first punk song, I already kind of talked about that one a little bit. But that one, I mean, the lyrics are a little ridiculous. You know, they're definitely very punk. Um, like, almost kind of like hardcore punk, almost. And, um... Oh, it's just a cool song. It's a unique song. You know, it definitely shows off some of Tom's roots a bit. Um, but, you know, it's not one of my favorites anyway. <clears throat> Sorrow is another one of those songs that I really like, but I always tend to forget about. It's not like the first Boxcar Racer song that comes to mind when I think of Boxcar, you know. Um, but everything about it is really good, really solid, you know, very simple pretty much like the rest of the songs on the album. Um, I really like the intro. The intro guitars are really cool. Um, yeah, nothing too much to really say about it. It's just a very stripped down song. There Is is a fucking great song. That has got to be one of the best songs that Tom's ever written, for sure. Uh, it's just very, very simple, very... It's just fucking great, you know? <laughs> Everything sounds good. You know, the production of it is awesome. I love his guitar sound, the acoustic guitar. I love both of the guitar parts mixed together. And I don't know. I mean, I remember the first time I heard it with the, uh, the music video. I, mean, I thought the video was great. And, you know, it, it was weird seeing him play that a little bit when he was doing the Angels and Airwaves stuff. But... It it was pretty cool at the same time, but I don't know if I would have done the same thing if I was him. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I, I definitely think that was and still is one of the best songs that Tom's ever written for sure. <clears throat> the end with you is really cool. I really like that one. The lyrics are really cool, and I don't know it's just like one of the more like straight up kind of rock songs on the album that I really like, and this was one that when I was in a band years and years ago, um, we would always be playing. This was always one song that we were always playing. And I just, it, I don't know, it doesn't really fit the same style that Tom usually does. I mean, it does and it doesn't. And I don't know, it just, it's just a really good song overall. It's just, just a great, great uh, guitar song, especially for just playing along. I really like that. Uh, Elevator, you know, I'm sure most of you know Elevator. That one is the one song with Mark in it, so it's pretty much just like a Blink-182 song, but, you know, it's very, very simple. It's it's really cool um, how it focuses on, you know, the guy jumping off the building or whatever, and then for a verse, and it's also focusing on someone, like, on the, on the ground, seeing it happen, it's focus, focusing on him. And, you know... Tom and Mark's vocals are just perfect together, you know. They're, it's it's about as good as it gets for pop punk and stuff like that. And you know, the song's really no exception at all. I really like um, 
I really like that Mark was in one of the songs. And here's the last one. This is the instrumental song. I actually remember a little while ago um, when I covered this one again, I think it was when I did the whole album cover, um, I had someone say, like, what's this instrumental song? I've never even heard of it. And, you know, it was like a song that was from 2002, and it was from 2014, I think, when I put the, the thing out. I was just like, like, the song's been out for 12 years, and I've never even heard of it, you know? So that, that was pretty cool. Um, I have a feeling that maybe Travis wrote this one. I don't know. Um, it's definitely got a lot of different things that Travis is doing in it because he's doing, like, the heavier parts, but he's also doing, like, the softer parts with, like, maracas at the same time. And it's really cool, you know? It's, it's something, like, I've always wondered how it would sound with lyrics, but, you know, I, I always liked instrumental music at the same time, so, you know, I have nothing really against it, so, um, it's definitely a really cool song, but I don't know if I'd really end the album on an instrumental song. If it was me, I'd probably put it somewhere in the middle. I think it'd be cool to kind of, like, break it apart a little bit, but I don't know. That's, that's what I would do anyway. So... That's it. That's the whole album. You know, if you've never heard of it, I mean, if you're a Blink fan, I'd hope you've heard it by now. But, you know, I think it's an amazing album. Um, and it's, you know, I've always kind of considered it like my third favorite album of all time. Um, but it's always going to be somewhere in my top three or top five. You know, an album would have to be really, really good for it to beat out this album. Um and if, if you're curious, my other two favorites would be the self-titled Blink album and Rush Moving Pictures. So, and then this one. So, um, listen to it for sure. Thanks for watching.